today we will discuss respiratory system examination scheme overview preparation time allotted three minutes try to utilize the whole three minutes for the preparation read the scenario very well and prepare your strategy examination and discussion time allotted eight minutes and warning bell will be given at six minutes total marks allotted eight introduction great before you start introduce yourself define your role and responsibility wash your hand with sanitizer and take the covid precautions ask for consent to examine and exposure make repo by asking short question what is your name what is your favorite sports star and explain what you are going to do listen any calf strider horse voice look for dysmorphism any distress any disease stigmata and measure height weight and head some conference and plot them in age and sex appropriate growth chart look at the surroundings for any device and drugs start examination from hands look for pallor ictoras sinuses clubbing check the pulse rate mention bp temperature capillary refilling time always look for bcg scar in respiratory station and check for any tremor which could be side effect of salbutamol check the eyes for any pallor ictoras and do the ENT examination. Check nose for any polyp. Ear should be checked and look at the tympanic membrane whether it is inflamed or not and throat for tonsils. Look at the mouse. Look for dental hygiene. How is the pallor is there or not? Look for central cyanosis and look for any distinct faces like adenoid faces which is associated with crowding of teeth. Check the neck for cervical lymphadenopathy, then start inspection. Inspection to be inspection to be done from front, from back, and from the foot end and head end. Look for any work of breathing. There could be nasal flaring, subcostal suction, intercostal recession. Check the respiratory rate. Look for the shape of the chest. This could be barrel in hyperinflated chest. Look for any scar marks and any visible pulsation. Any rash is there or not. Always check the back. Look for any kyphosis, coliosis, hyperlordosis, and look for any porta cath. If there is any scar, if there is any median sternostomy scar, this could be because of the cardiac valve replacement or any pulmonary artery binding. Right thoracotomy scar could be indication of uh, pulmonary artery binding or BT shunt. Left thoracotomy scar associated with pulmonary artery binding, PDA ligation, BT shunt, and coarctation of aorta repair. Infracavicular scar could be because of pacemaker insertion. Left mid-axillary scar associated with subcutaneous ICD. Then start palpation. Check for position of trachea, position of apex speed, respiratory movement, vocal fremitus. Then do the percussion. Type of percussion note could be Tympanic for long, normal lung, dull for consolidation, stony dull if there is any pleural effusion. Look for upper border of liver dullness and then do the auscultation. Try to assess which type of breath sound it is, whether it is a vesicular breath sound or bronchial breath sound. Look for any wheeze, wheeze is a expiratory sound and it is high pitched. 
whereas crackles and crepitations are low pitch and in strider is there or not strider is always upper respiratory sound it could be inspiratory or expiratory and how is the heart sound in order to finish examination look for any pedal edema which could be indicator of right heart failure in his sputum spot peak flow test chest x-ray and do the cvs examination as well as gi examination important points don't forget to mention ent checkup always check the bcg scar summarize your clinical finding plan relevant investigation and specific management common cases given in respiratory stations cystic fibrosis post lobectomy patient chronic lung disease